so you are welcome once again to my channel you are welcome to catfish uh, solution uh, academy where we give you in-depth information about catfish farming yeah you are all welcome we are in the episode 15 and uh, uh, we thank god we are going more deeper and uh, once again my name still remains odutola is abiodun dtm your great uncle on these channels but for <laughs> before i go forward i will say a very big thank you for those of you who are been following this uh, episode from episode one it takes time it takes uh, love it takes care it takes passion it takes a uh, commitment and it takes uh, what we call the zeal for love for the passion you have in me and the trust you have in me to follow in me for for one and you are not tired so from this point i will say a very big thank you and god will continue to bless you god will continue to grace your business and you will never fall all this information you are acquiring will be an impact of great knowledge to success to you in life so thank you so much my name once again still remain odutola isa abiodo uh, dtm your great uncle uh, on this channel so on this channel i'll be going uh, a little bit further so in here i'll be talking about what you call the materials the crude protein materials that we have i'll just be mentioning some uh, crude protein material that we have available that means the animal crude protein material because we said we have uh, uh, we source our materials our crude protein from what you call the animal and the plant protein yeah so i'll be talking about the likes of the animal crude protein that you may have around you and you may thought is not useful but it may be useful for you to alternate and get a perfect result so the first one i'll be talking about is a uh, what we call the poultry meal the poultry meal uh animal um, animal source of a uh, crude protein for your for your formulation so for those of you who can have poultry meal if you can't have it just go to a feed meal and tell them you need a poultry meal because one poultry meal is a little bit high in the crude protein is ranging from 60 percent to 64 percent to 65 percent digestible crude protein so once you can have this you can have this to alternate for the expensive fish meal so that means in the lights where you should be using maybe 50 percent uh, uh 72 fish meal you can reduce it to 30 percent and you use your uh poultry meal for 20 percent we'll, i told you we'll be going more deeper into this but i'm just for those of you who have been following this you should just be taking note and uh, this will really help you because i have seen a lot of people from our whatsapp they have taken note of most of our lecture and have turned it into a very big book and they are using it they have a lot of them that are giving testimony and have sent a lot of that books to me and uh, again another one where you as a source of your group protein is what we call the uh, sick worm uh, pupa meal they are they are silk worm pupa meal for those of you who can access it i'll be showing you the uh, you'll be seeing the example from the screen so this uh, one has a percentage of 70 to 72 percent crude protein yeah they are the likes of the maggot mm -hmm. and co so that will be you'll be seeing the demo on the on the screen and the number three i'll be talking about is the bone meal bone meal has uh, a percentage of like 40 to 45 percent and its ranges so if you get to your if you can't access that go to the female meal and has them you need that for the animal protein as i told you and the other one i'll be talking about i'll be talking about the the blood meal yeah blood meal is also a source for your crude protein yeah it's a very good source for your crude protein but it's highly is high in a cp that means the crude protein and but you must know how to use it that means if you are working on your formulation you just need a little amount of blood meal in order to alternate for your material so blood meal has between 85 percent to 90 percent uh, uh, crude uh, proteins so this animal uh, protein source some of those material may be free to some farmers here 
so i just mentioned just a few because most of them may be free to some farmers around and uh, they may not know just to alternate because the most most farmers the only thing we know about animal protein is just the fish meal it's just a fish meal so i just mentioned some of the uh, animal protein you can use uh, to alternate yeah so again i'll be going into what we call the plant protein the plant protein the source for your plant protein and for your plant protein i'll be giving another four example of uh, the plant protein you can use to alternate for the likes of the soya meal uh, the gnc uh, uh, the, the, the grains yeah for the protein because those are the source those are the major source we use in our feed meal these are the major uh, important but that means the gnc that means the granite cake and the soya meal yeah soya meal i told you we have four different of soya meal from the video we have what we call the uh, toasted soya we have what we call the food fast soya we have what we call the soya meal and we have what we call the soya cake so all these things you can use for your formulation so but i'm just trying to give you an alternative grains that may be scarce may may be scarce to some people and may be free to some people so but that you can use as a means of protein for your formulation so i'll be talking about the number one i'll be mentioning the cereal the cereal you can get the cereals from 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 beauties and co you can get it from them they are a very good source of uh, uh, plant protein too as well because it has a percentage ranges from 14 to 17 percent uh, uh, crude protein which can be highly alternative for the for the GNC and likes. What I mean by highly alternative, where you are using GNC, maybe you are using 20% of GNC, you can use the likes of a 20, you can use the likes of 10% and use 20% of cereal. So by the time you do the calculation, there may be, it will work between the ranges. So that's what I'm just uh, talking about. And uh, the alternative are what we call uh, the pulse, the granite, and the beans and the cake the beans the the you can search for it from the beans the shaft of the beans too as well there are grains too as well that people don't know because it's highly is rich in uh, protein and a little bit of fiber yeah a little bit of fiber so that means the beans shaft you may use the granite the normal granite in the market if you can access it some of us get it free they are some of them are wasted anywhere so what you just do is that you just make sure it's well dried and you uh, mix it with your material yeah it is helpful to damage the beans that's where we source from the most of our uh, granite uh, uh, granite cake so we source uh, them from uh, the granite so you can get the raw one you can use it uh, as well and again we have what we call the i told you we have what we call the soya beans uh, we have what we call the soya meal we have what we call the soya cake as a means of uh, alternating for your grains that means your plant uh, your plant protein and uh, the last one i'll be talking about no i'll be talking about what we call the sunflower sunflower are most popular in the north for those of us in the north they are a very good source of uh, plant protein you can use to as well so and it has a ranges of like 45 to 47 percent protein which you we it's very very okay for our feed uh, formulation and again we have what we call the cement seed so cement meal cement seeds are very very good source of protein i think we get a lot of grains from the north for those people in the north that are into fish farming and they are doing it in mass these are some of the materials you can use to alternate for your materials and will give you perfect result so you can get it lower there and for those of us who have access to it here too as well in the east west or uh, you can transport it from the north maybe it's being wasted in the north maybe you have a brother there that is being wasted that can help you to transport here these are the source of uh, animal uh, plant protein that are legible to grow and to have a better feed formulation knowing your catfish crude protein will allow them to grow very very well you must understand the feed concentration knowing it perfectly will allow your fishes to grow well because there are a lot of ranges of 
percentage they need at a particular given period since since you can work towards those things you will not have any problem uh, in your fish that means required kg in the short time it will also help you in getting a lower fcr that means your feed conversion ratio if you can uh, if you can formulate your feed very well that means the more protein in your feed the more digestible protein in your feed the the lesser your uh, what you call your conversion the conversion ratio i'll be talking about this deep because we have not gotten to that so so the more your the good the material is the more lower the conversion ratio and the more lower the conversion ratio the more they convert it the more the fishes develop the body tissues of the fishes the more the fishes do well and better that are what we determine that are what we determine the profit after sale once you do not take this serious that means you are not taking the fish business serious as a whole because i normally tell uh, people that really want to go into fish farming this has to be a passion uh, business you have to do this with zeal you have to be working this with the most in depth passion so you must take every aspect of the business very very serious so we just talked about uh, materials alternation that means the alternation for the animal crude protein and the alternation for your plant crude protein so that's just we just talked so we will be ending the episode um, episode 15 so from the episode 16 we'll be talking about the recommended crude protein for catfish at a different growth because there's there should be a recommended once you are formulating your uh, feed you must know the percentage of the crude protein you are looking for at a different stage for them maybe when they are fingerlings when they are post fingerlings when they are juvenile when they are in the post juvenile so you must know when and what percentage is required for them at those particular period to get that desired result you need because if you don't work on that ranges your fishes may not grow that is where sometimes you get some fishes stunted yeah some fishes may be stunted by the way because they are not giving what desires for them to grow but some of them the jumpers from the fishes because they are cannibalizing they are feasting on some of the fishes and they are having more protein for themselves they will be growing and if you are looking at those ones that are ah, in my pond i have fishes of uh, 500 gram maybe in one month you now from juvenile or from uh, post juvenile you saw that you have some fishes of 500 grams in one month and which is desirable for like 150 grams that you need to have 150 grams that's the ranges you need to have at that particular time and you are having 40 400 grams 500 grams and maybe you just have two of them in your pond is that true that you have started showcasing that you have big fish in for one month and you are forgotten that these big fish are fished on some of the fishes in your pond because they are they have more that protein because you are not giving them protein they are hitting from the fishes in the pond to have more protein and they will be doing fine so you just showcasing that that that's what we're having most farmers are having things wrong in that area if you are calculating because we'll be going to that we are when we are going into what we call uh, uh some of the secret of how to make it real in fish farming so we have not talked about that i'll be going to that so we'll be going more in depth about that so what i mean by that is that by the time you didn't follow the ranges of uh, the crude protein that they should be given and this will deter them from growing because when you are having a total fish in your pond we call it the fish biomass you must understand what we call your fish the biomass and you must understand what we call the average weight of the fish in the pond that is what you have to sell if you have 1000 pieces of fishes and you are having the average weight of 300 grams and i will tell you how to weigh to calculate your average weight so that's what we are selling so that's what you have to look out to make profit so because we'll be going more in depth into that so to know the amount of free lecture you are having now so make sure that you watch these videos to the end and 
subscribe and share to people that need it if you don't need it there are some people that are interested in fish farming and you can always share it to them I'm still remain Odutola Isa Abiyodun DTM. I'm your great uncle on this channel where we give you in-depth information, uncommon information about uh, fish uh, uh, farming persistently and concurrently. So uh, once again, I will say a very good thank you to those of you that have been here watching from the episode 1 to 15. And, uh, and uh, thank you so much. And I say God bless you and god bless you god bless you and i so much appreciate it. thank you so much mm -hmm.